Hello everyone, in this INR number 25, we are going to discuss about vitamin B6, which is also called as pyridoxin. Right, so what is vitamin B6 or pyridoxin? What are, what are the sources? So their sources are meat, fish, potatoes and banana. So you can see these are the sources, right? So beef liver, tuna, salmon, chickpeas, banana, oranges and papaya. They are the richest source of the vitamin B6. And what is their function? So to understand the function, we have to remember that their active form, their active form is pyridoxal phosphate. So this is the active form of pyridoxin. So this pyridoxal phosphate, which is the active form, they will be cofactor. They will be cofactor, which will be used in three important reaction. Number one is transamination. Number two is decarboxylation. And number three is glycogen phosphorylase. So these are the three things. So pyridoxal phosphate or pyridoxin is a cofactor for transamination, decarboxylation and glycogen phosphorylase. Right? What they will do, they are, their function is for synthesis of glutathione, cystathionine and heme. <coughs> this point we have to remember. Pyridoxin is required for heme synthesis. That is why whenever there is a deficiency of pyridoxin, heme will be having abnormal metabolism and that abnormal metabolism will be causing anemia called sideroblastic anemia. So this is a very important PYQ. Vitamin B6 deficiency is associated with sideroblastic anemia and they are also associated with niacin synthesis. Remember in niacin I have told you tryptophan, vitamin B2 and vitamin B6. These are important for synthesis of vitamin niacin. Right? They are also part of histamine and they will also help in synthesis of neurotransmitter. So what are the neurotransmitters? Serotonin, epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine and GABA. So all these are the neurotransmitter which will be synthesized by the vitamin B6. Because of <coughs> deficiency of vitamin B6, what you will see in the patient, they will have convulsions, they will be having hyper irritability. Because of that neurotransmitter will be defective, so peripheral neuropathy will be there. And remember this peripheral neuropathy can be induced by some drugs like isoniazide and oral contraceptives. As I have said earlier that vitamin B6 is required for the heme synthesis. So whenever there is a less vitamin B6, impaired hemoglobin synthesis and iron will be in excess and they will be causing which anemia? Sideroblastic anemia. That is the anemia which I was talking about. This was the question in the INICT 2023. How you are going to measure vitamin B6? By measuring the urinary xanthiuric acid. Right, so urinary xanthiuric acid following the dose of tryptophan, this was the question in exam. Right, so urinary xanthiuric acid is used for estimation of vitamin B6, that was the question in the exam. It can be also measured by RBC aspartate amino transferase level. Best wishes for your exam, keep revising this INR series.